Um, Corla, I want to object to uh, this item. Uh, the order of government business that's presented by the Tonishta this morning is quite ludicrous. Um, yesterday, we had uh, one and three quarter hours allocated for a health insurance bill which had 84 amendments. There were three and a half hours allocated for land and conveyancing bill which had 41 amendments. Today we have a total of five guillotines proposed by the government. It's proposed to allocate two to two and a half hours for the Criminal Justice Miscellaneous Provisions Bill, which has eight amend 18 amendments. It is then proposed to allocate one and a half hours for the Companies Bill, which has one amendment. And then it is proposed to allocate four and three quarter hours for the European Parliament a constituency members bill which is about the method of payment of uh, members of the parliament to which to the best of my knowledge no amendment at all has been uh, tabled now first of all it can corla in my opinion it is possible to do those three pieces of legislation today without any guillotine and we probably get through all three provided they were ordered the other way around you could deal i think pretty quickly with the, the european parliament constituency members bill. You could probably deal pretty quickly with a bill that has only one amendment to it and that would leave a decent amount of time to deal with the criminal justice miscellaneous provisions bill which is 18 amendments and all of that business could probably be done today without any guillotine. But what it seems to me here at Can Corla is what's happening is that the business of the house is being ordered for the convenience of ministers and not for the dealing with the, the legislation. So I would ask the Tonishta to reverse the order of these bills and to do them in the kind of sensible way that I'm, I'm suggesting. May I also draw attention to the arrangements for next week? We have, at my count, we have 12 guillotines proposed for next week's business. Four of the pieces of legislation that the House is being asked to deal with next week is entirely new business, bills that haven't appeared on, uh, before the House before. Two of those bills have yet to be published. One of which, incidentally, is the bill dealing with the Lisbon uh, referendum. Now, among all of that, 90 minutes is being allocated on Tuesday for the committee remaining and final stages of a criminal justice bill, which has quite far-reaching implications for our criminal justice system. And whatever members may think about the content of it, 90 minutes is hardly sufficient time to give it the kind of scrutiny that a bill of that kind uh, requires. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not unusual. It's not unusual that we do find ourselves at the end of a Doyle session with the government using the guillotine to push through legislation that it wants to get through, uh, either, either to, to, to get it out of the way or to minimise the amount of public attention that it will get. But I think the government has taken the use of the guillotine and the ordering of business to a new level of ridiculousness. And that, I think, is clearly exampled by the, the kind of way that they're ordering business for today.